Welcome back to Breakthrough Fitness, Lola. I'm Adam the Trainer. In today's video, we're going to talk about exercising while in menopause. Here at Breakthrough Fitness, Lola, we have an aging population, and so they're becoming diagnosed with menopause. And why is that frustrating for that person? It's because menopause decreases your metabolism. And when the metabolism decreases, it's very difficult to lose weight. And if you do lose weight, it's slow. So that becomes frustrating. Especially when they're putting in their time in the kitchen, outside the kitchen, in the studio, and out. So we want to talk about these things to try to help alleviate some of that stress of what exercise it can do while in menopause. But before we get to it, I would like to talk about my shirt that I have on. Every time I do an educational video, I'm going to wear a different themed shirt. So this shirt is basically a checkbox. So it asks, are you single? No check. Are you taking? No check. Over here at Breakthrough Fitness Nola, we're too busy making gains. Breakthrough Fitness Nola. These shirts that I wear in these videos are for sale. So please look at the information in our bio on our YouTube homepage. If you're on Instagram, on the homepage there and reach out to us, we'll get to you and get these shirts out to you, either full body or in a tank top. So what is menopause? Menopause is just basically the end of a female menstruation cycle. It's simply put. So what causes menopause? Menopause is just basically could be caused when a female stop producing the hormones to, for that release to happen. It also could be caused by aging. When a lady get over 40 years of age, her menopause incident risk increases. Or maybe surgery. Some women have to have hysterectomies because they have fibroids, which increases in size because of the hormone imbalance being released during her menstruation cycle. It also could be caused by having chemotherapy because a, a woman may have cancer, the doctor may feel like we have to be aggressive and do chemotherapy, and therefore that bring menopause on. Okay, so what are some of the symptoms? Some of the main symptoms is high flashing, nice, nice, nice sweats, um, lack of sleep, lack of sex drive, or pain during sex, and they have other symptoms, but you get my point. It's just basically a lot of different things that a female go through, but those high flashes seems to be number one. The duration of menopause usually lasts about four years. I'm sorry, ladies, but it's different for each lady. Some, it may last a couple of months, some may be two, but the max or the average of it is approximately four years. So what are some treatment options? Treatment options, you have hormone therapy, and some people are for hormone therapy and some people are not because they feel like it brings on different types of cancers and so forth and so on. So that's between you and your physician to discuss if that is a viable option for you. You even have tropical hormone therapy where there's different creams that you rub on and it goes through subcutane subcutaneously and give you the um, hormones that way. We also have non-hormonal therapy and that's where exercise falls in and meditation. And we also have, you know, things like um, vitamin D supplements and calcium because of the hormone imbalance that menopause brings on, it opens up the doorway for other chronic diseases to take place. And osteoporosis is a bone disease. Basically, it just softens the bone. So if a female falls, her bones will be more prominent to becoming broken than they, than they were when they were younger. So you need calcium and you need the vitamin D so your body can absorb that calcium and kind of reverse that osteoporosis risk, all right? How does exercise help? I think that exercise, basically I know from the research that I've done, exercise is basically help managing the symptoms. You know, for you ladies, I'm sorry to say, Menopause is a non-avoidable non event. It's inevitable, but you can't treat the symptoms by being healthy. So exercise can help manage those symptoms as well as with the treatment plan that you and your physician come up with. I think that'll be a good team to try to help you through this time that could be very troublesome and very stressful. Remember, we're just treating the symptoms. 
what type of exercise should you do? Well, basically, we should do all forms of exercise. And here at Breakthrough Fitness NOLA, every session, we go through all the forms of fitness. First one I want to talk about, cardiovascular exercise. You should do that cardio at least 30 to 45 minutes every day. This should be a daily event. Cardiovascular work, especially steady state cardiovascular work, and that basically means you can do the cardio for an extended period of time, should be done. And what are some of those examples of cardiovascular work? Walking, riding a bike, doing elliptical, walking on a treadmill, going skating, going swimming. It's a whole bunch of them. But anything that raises your heart rate, basically over 120. And we can sustain that for an extended period of time of at least 30 minutes. That's cardiovascular work. And cardiovascular work is important because it's for heart health. It helps control that blood pressure. And that's very, very important. The next form of exercise that you should do is resistance training. It's also called, excuse me, it's also called strength training. And what strength training does, it helps to maintain the muscle that's going to help keep our metabolism up. As we all age male and female, we all are losing more and more muscle, lean muscle, every year that passes. So resistance training is just that. It's putting more weight for our body to push against, which tells our mind, hey, we need to keep these muscles in play because we're still utilizing them. And that helps us to stay doing those activities as if we were in our 20s or if we were in our 30s to help keep that metabolism elevated. And I forgot to mention cardiovascular burns more calories doing that activity. And if we have less calories that's just lingering around, there's less of a chance our body will put on fat with that and burn it off doing activity. Then we put the resistance training in to keep our muscles and maintain our muscles, which allows us to do that cardiovascular work with even more intensity, which brings our metabolism back up and it kind of counteracts that menopause and bringing that metabolism down. You see how it's all coming together? Then we also need to do flexibility and balance training because the flexibility training will help keep those muscles limber, keep those muscles loose, and the balance training will also help us with our proprioception because that kind of decreases as we age and that'll decrease the chances of us falling. But if we do fall and you have the balance in I mean the flexibility training, then you may not have that break from the osteoporosis if you develop it. So all of these things go together. But one of the main problems that I find with my clientele, especially if they don't come to Breakthrough Fitness Nola, is how do you stay motivated with this exercise thing? That's what they all say. Number one, come to Breakthrough Fitness Nola, train with Adam the Trainer. And our program that's been devised on 11 years and counting will help keep you motivated and train you on each one of those points that I said that you must do to have results from that exercise program to help balance out the osteoporosis as well as the menopause. So keep that in mind. But if you can't come to Breakthrough Fitness NOLA, come to us digitally on YouTube, follow us on Instagram, we can help you stay motivated and you'll see other people trying to battle the same things you, you're battling and you won't feel alone. But if you don't want to do that, any one of those options, then find your partner to do some things with so y'all won't feel isolated. Y'all can go through them together. And remember, exercise is just helping in a natural way to deal with the symptoms of being in menopause. So I hope this video helped you guys. We're at the end of it. If you're in menopause, it's not the end of the world. Just listen to the video, research, do some research, come to Breakthrough Fitness Nola if you're not at Breakthrough Fitness Nola. Get in our program. Let us help you because we definitely could do that. So once again, I'm Adam the Train. And until next time, keep breaking through.